Nigeria's political scene is full of political actors known for their corrupt practices. Ironically, one would think that women have a clean corruption bill and are too innocent to hurt a fly, but many have let Nigerians down by their own undoings with public funds. In this video, we have compiled 10 female politicians caught stealing Nigeria's money at various levels of government. First on the list of 10 corrupt female politicians stealing Nigeria's money is Stella Udua Ogiewonyi. She was born 5th January 1962. She was a Nigerian senator and former minister Minister of Aviation. Udua was, however, relieved of her duties as Minister of Aviation on 12 February 2014 following a scandal over 255 million Naira armored cars. It was reported that she made the Nigerian Civil Aviation Authority, an agency under her supervision, purchase the cars at inflated prices. Not only that, Stella Udua was also indicted by the Economic and Financial Crime Commission (EFCC) on February 9, 2014. She was named with the Nigerian subsidiary of Chinese construction giant in an alleged fraudulent cash transaction of about 5 billion naira. The consequences of her corrupt practices was in no small measure as she was relieved of her ministerial position and all her four company accounts worth billions of naira were frozen. Her case is still going through active trial in court. <laughs> At number two, we bring you Patricia Ete. Patricia Olobumi Foluke Ete was born 17th August 1953. She served as the 10th Speaker of the House of Representatives of Nigeria from June to October 2007. Her tenure was short lived when she was accused of authorizing $5 million for renovation of her official residence and that of her deputy. Ete has also been interrogated by the EFCC for alleged receiving a suspicious 130 million naira payment from a contractor, the Niger Delta. Development Commission NDDC awarded a solar powered electrification project in Akwaibom State. As part of the consequences of her actions, Ete resigned from her position after several weeks of pressure from the members of parliament. Till now, no record shows she was ever indicted. Patricia Ete clocked 70 years on Thursday, August 17, 2023, and was celebrated by her former parliamentary colleagues, family, and friends. She's doing pretty well for herself outside politics. Making it to the number 3 on this list of corrupt female politicians in Nigeria is Kemi Adeosun. Kemi Adeosun was appointed as the Minister of Finance in 2015 by President Mamadou Buhari. Her predicament began during her third year in office as it was alleged that Kemi allegedly obtained her National Youth Service Corps to get into public office. After much probing, it was revealed that those allegations were true. Kemi who later resigned from her position admitted the documents were forged. Since she bowed out of that highly esteemed office, Adeo Sun has maintained a low profile as she is rarely seen at political or other public functions. She recently began her philanthropic activities tagged Dash Me to help the vulnerable children and victims of domestic abuse. We've looked at what government has been spending money on. Only 10% was spent on capital. Capital is what grows your economy. At number 4 stands Sarah Rene Oshekwe. Oshekwe was born on October 4, 1961 to the family of Ali Reng Madubeng in Foron, Plateau State. She had a first degree in political science from Amadubelo University. Known as a Nigerian politician woman from Plateau State, Oshekwe served as the Minister of Water Resources from 2011 to 2015. Before her ministerial appointment, Oshekwe served in different directorial roles at National Orientation Agency. Although her tenure was marked by positive achievements, she and two other persons were accused of money laundry and conspiracy worth 450 million naira. A check by the play to glory was convicted by a federal high court sitting in jaws for her involvement in money laundry, allegedly traced to funds fraudulently distributed by an ex petroleum minister, Dezani Alison Madweke, in 2015. Sarah Orene Oshekwe's whereabouts now is not known as she now lives in low profile after the saga. At number five, 
we have Dizani Alison Madweke. Well, let's get to know her. Dizani was born 6 December 1960 in Potako to River State, Nigeria. In April 2010, was appointed as the first female Minister of Petroleum Resources in Nigeria. Despite her groundbreaking records, Alison Madweke has been arrested and dragged by several courts for corruption and financial misconduct. The former Petroleum Minister was officially charged to court by the Economics and Financial Crimes Commission of Nigeria for money laundering. She's been accused of organizing a diversion of $28 billion from the Nigerian Treasury, awarding multi-billion Naira contracts without due process, and wasting billions of Naira inappropriately on private jets. She has been charged with the responsibility of $20 billion missing from the Petroleum Agency. You marvel at the many consequences of her sins, just keep watching, and kindly hit the like and the subscribe button. In October 2009, the Senate of Nigeria indicted Dizani Alice in Madweke and recommended prosecution for the transfer of 1.2 billion naira into the private account of a tow company without due process and in breach of concession agreement. However, Dizani Madweke towards the end of 2023 has appealed to the president Bola Tinubu led Nigerian government for leniency. We don't know if our troubles are ending soon. Of subsidy in terms of our budgeting and the fact that these subsidies were not actually even reaching the masses. The very masses that are being called out in protest today were not enjoying the benefit of this subsidy. At number 6 stands Iyabo Obasanjo. Iyabo Obasanjo, born 27th April 1967, is a former Nigerian senator and the daughter of former president of Nigeria, Olusegun Obasanjo, and his wife, Oluremi Obasanjo. Obasanjo attended Corona School in Victoria Island, Lagos, Capital School in Kaduna, and Queen's College in Lagos. She obtained a degree in veterinary medicine from the University of Ibadan in 1988. Before her senatorial election, Obasanjo was Ogun State Commissioner for Health. In April 2008, Obasanjo came under investigation by Nigeria's Economic and Financial Crimes Commission (EFCC) due to the investigation involving the former Minister of Health and a Minister for Health, Professor Adenike Grange, for embezzlement of public funds. The ministry, at the end of the financial year, did not return all of spent funds to the government coffers. The amount was 300 million naira, which was allegedly distributed among the minister, a minister of state, and top civil servant on the Senate, and how. Of Health Committee, Iabo shares. Iabo Obasanjo refused to return her portion of this money, which was 1 million naira. She maintained this money was spent on a conference on capacity building some members of the Health Committee attended in Ghana. In 2009, the case was thrown out of the High Court in Abuja as having no merit. Obasanjo is currently a lecturer in one of the universities in the US. At number 7, we have Adenike Grange. Adenike Grange is a pediatrician, professor, consultant, author and former Nigerian minister in charge of the Federal Ministry of Health. In February 2008, Adenike Grange was arrested on the orders of President Umaru Yaradua over the handling of 300 million of her spent funds in the 2007 budget and award. She was examined by the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. The president has reportedly directed that all unspent funds in the budget be returned but it was allegedly shared by officials of the Health Ministry as bonuses. In March 2008, President Yarado accepted the resignation of Adenike Grant. In April 2008, an Abuja High Court ordered that she be remanded in the custody of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission. However, an anonymous verdict ordered that Professor Grant should not stand for that trial. She was discharged from facing persecution and all charges were squashed. Professor Grant has now entered into private medical practice in Ibadan in conjunction with some non-governmental organizations. However, not much has been heard about her since then. Number 8 on the list of the corrupt female politician is Cecilia Ibru. Cecilia Ibru was born 22nd March 1946. She attended St. Margaret's Grammar School in Ilesa from 1960 to 1965. She is the former managing director and chief executive officer of Oceanic Bank. She was Nigeria's first female bank CEO and was dubbed the first lady of the Nigerian banking industry. On 13 August 2009, Ibru was amongst five bank CEOs who were dismissed for their involvement in a multi-billion dollar banking scandal. She was sentenced on 8 October 2010 on 25 counts of corporate fraud and ordered to reimburse $1.2 billion in cash and assets and to serve six months of prison. Mrs. Cecilia Ebru spent six months in jail and forfeited over 150 billion naira in assets and cash for bank and security fraud and was convicted by a 
Federal High Court in Lagos. She has since then lived the quiet life. At number 9 is Indi Okereke on UK. Indi Okereke was born 2nd November 1950. She obtained a Master of Business Administration in Finance and Computer Science from Berush College of the City University of New York, USA. She is a former Director General of the Nigerian Stock Exchange and the first female stockbroker in Nigeria. Professor Indi Okereke fell from grace over many scandals which stripped off her prestige and honor. Back in 2003, she organized the election fundraising for the re-election of President Obasanjo and Vice President Atiku under the umbrella of the illegal corporate Nigeria. Furthermore, she promoted a campaign against the backdrop of the American senator Barack Obama campaign organizer Stagged Africa for Obama which targeted raising the sum of 100 million naira to support Obama. She was alleged to be involved in indisciplined spending and financial imprudence threatening financial condition of the NSC running into 11 billion naira. The director general of the Nigerian Stock Exchange, Indi Okereke, was fired by the former Nigerian president, Goodluck Jonathan. However, a report has it that she already resigned before the sack came. She has withdrawn to her shell since the whole drama played out. They can be done by companies and countries of the world, and even individuals to make the world a better place for all of us, is to care for one another. The very last on the list is Beta Edu, who is currently fighting for her name. Edu is not just a politician, but also a respected physician and public health specialist. Born on October 27, 1986, Abi local government area, Cross River State, Edu's political career took off in 2015 when she became the youngest special advisor on community and primary health care in Cross River State. In 2019, she was appointed as the Commissioner for Health in Cross River State, a position she held until 2022. Edu's political journey has been equally impressive. In 2023, Edu's efforts were recognized when she was appointed Minister of Humanitarian Affairs and Poverty Elevation. Her appointment marked her as the first female minister from Cross River State and the youngest minister in Nigeria's Fourth Republic. Nigeria's president, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, has suspended Edu over the alleged diversion of more than 585 million naira, running into thousands of dollars of public money into a personal bank account. Dr. Edu has denied any wrongdoing and investigations is still ongoing. So if you enjoyed the video, kindly click on the subscribe button and like. And click on the end screen on your left to watch the top 10 Nigerian men caught stealing Nigeria's money.